Hi right, guys, we headed the car week right now. And the funny thing is, I am so used to driving in a Tesla that you got autopilot, stare at the road, full self driving. And then when you go back to a normal car, like uh, with gas, you know, you have like cruise control, which is cool, but it's not self driving. You're just like staring at the road, hardcore, like focusing, like, oh man. And it's so interesting because the i8, BMW i8, the BMW supercar, is a really cool car, but it doesn't have the technology of a Tesla. It doesn't have full self driving. It doesn't have like your giant screen in the middle. It doesn't have your Spotify. Can't really uh, charge a lot of things like USB C. Like, you actually gotta drive this car, uh, which is like, cool i like driving cars when you're driving three hours you're like all right this is gonna be a journey because we're coming from sacramento all the way to to monterey and that's about two and a half hour drive without traffic so fingers crossed we don't hit any traffic we left at 5 30 in the morning so i think we'll be good but if we were to leave later oof, that would be tricky my friends very very tricky so anyways hey to monterey we're meeting with my boy Calabau, y'all follow, like, comment, and subscribe to his videos. I'll put his link down below, and we're gonna check out his car, all the other supercars that are there, and it's gonna be a ton of fun today, Jello fam. I appreciate you guys, so I'll see y'all in a bit. Yo, look at the Rari! I'm so hyped, bro. Car week gonna be crazy. All right, guys, we are at Car Week at the BMW i8. I had to bring my supercar. I did not want to bring the Tessie today. Brand new. This car was $165,000 after tax you're looking around like 180 or so which is insane but brought my i8 we're gonna have fun with it make some content and i'm very excited y'all could not bring the testy today did not want to bring that hi right, guys we're starting off car week we're filling the gas i don't know where francis went but he's somewhere over there so maybe we went to the bathroom check it out we got two porsches one two it's jen over there say hi jen anyways we're gonna fill this up boom boom crazy thing is this car is actually very not as expensive to fill up as y'all may think so it is kind of bread 557 and it cost me like 40 bucks to fill up the tank we're only gonna do half it's cool man first event are we going we're leaving yeah all right let's go we're moving that was quick the 911 hey thanks for waiting you guys hello hello angela nice to meet you ronald nice to meet you ronald Ready, boy? Alright, let's do ready? it. Damn! I'll go behind you. Alright, for sure. This is crazy. Alright, right, boy, I'll see you. Alright, guys, check it out. I'm gonna show you all the supercars we're driving with. And there's a Rari. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Angela, nice to meet you. This is crazy. 720S. There. See you guys. And the R8 too? This is wild, bro. The 720S is my favorite. This is cool. Guys. All right, so we're gonna follow all these other supercars. We got the McLaren, we got the R8, GT3, Corvette, we got the Rari, the Porsches, the Lambo left. So a lot of y'all been asking me, when and how should I buy my first supercar? Don't be like me. I kept having these crazy rules for myself where I was like, I need to see six figures in my bank account. Okay, cool. I need to make my first million dollars. Okay, cool. I need to pay off all my debt from school and everything I had, for like whatever. Cool. I did all of that 
And then I was like, okay, now I'm ready. What I wish I did was I wish I just bought it sooner. Like I wish I got my supercar, used it for marketing purposes, and then had that help grow my business and my YouTube. So for me, for you, if you can buy a supercar that is fully depreciated, that way when you buy it, you can sell it back for whatever you buy it for, or a little bit less, then go with that. That is probably my recommendation of when you should buy a supercar. If you can't afford a monthly payment of $2,000, 1,000 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever it may be, the car you're looking at, then don't do it, but be smart. driving down this road called 17 mile in monterey apparently like it's this exclusive road where only the really rich bougie people can live in and we're just driving all around it with the supercars it's cool man look at that i really want a 720s mclaren next that's the next car we're going by so i'm excited for that but that car is gorgeous it's like wrapped in matte um I've been like talking to a lot of McLaren dealerships now too. So we got friends there now and I'm excited. So I'm driving around Pebble Beach and the amount of wealth here is insane. Like I grew up in the, not like super violent or nothing. I just kind of had to earn everything. So seeing how rich people here are in Pebble Beach is kind of freaking crazy to me. Check it out guys. We are now behind the Audi R8 and we are just driving on this beautiful Pebble Beach area. This is crazy. It is gorgeous, y'all. It is beautiful. I feel so blessed. Like this life we live is amazing. God is so good. I appreciate y'all so much, man. Beautiful. Look at that beach. It's gorgeous. All the cool cars. guys here are all the cars check it out we got the porsche we got the vet the mclaren we got the audi we got the i8 this is my car right here we got some more porsches we got a type r another porsche we got the rari and then we got another gt3 back there crazy we got a lot of cars today y'all damn it damn it i didn't get the bugatti you it? Oh. So it's been hard to drive behind this car because all the kids keep following it out here. But the I ate survive. No, I keep missing the Bugatti. Run up. All right, good, thank you. Oh, Angelo. Angelo, Angelo. Bugatti. Such a cool car. YouTube. Thank you. Massa Ferrari. Whole bunch of cars here. Crazy. There is so much wealth here. It's insane. Like, it's crazy. It just kind of opens your eyes to like what's possible in life. But check that out, man. McLaren. Everyone loves the McLaren, bro. Oh, everyone just keeps going with the McLaren. It's a 
Polestar. We got the homies over here. Polestar team, Pebble Beach. It's kid over here. Say hi to the YouTube. Yo, check it out. They're charging $100 for parking. Crazy chat. All right guys, so we finally found street parking. Got a little lucky here, but it's two hours. Hopefully we don't get a ticket. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay anyway, so I think we'll be good. That's crazy. This crowd is bonkers. Well, we have the Moto Compacto crew here. Wild. We got Lewis and his white Moto Compacto coming up. Wow, that is a beautiful car. Very, very beautiful. That? That's crazy. One is already here. Three more coming. I know it's obvious, but uh, I think we have uh, Santa Claus here. Huh?
to you, bro. Hey, that's sick. What's up, man? Good to see you, bro. Check out this Ferrari, guys. This is the dream car. Supercar is definitely gonna be a McLaren. On it right now. I don't know if I want the 570s or 720 Spider. Tesla is driving over the curb. Cybertruck baby. And he's just doing a party. That was cool. All the G Wagon trucks. Crazy, it's so big. You guys, UAE license plate, wild. This is a different type of wealth, guys. It's crazy. Check out those wheels, guys. That's wild. Hey, I like the ring, bro. Fresh. So this is a Brabus, y'all. Crazy, there's like one, two, three of them. And they're all from UAE, United Arab Emirates. So this is a different type of wealth, y'all. Crazy to see this here in Cali, in the Bay. I'm so fascinated by this. So many Brabuses here. Wild, y'all, freaking wild. Guys, so this is the dream car over here. We have the Ferrari, this is the 458. Crazy. It's wild because all these gorgeous cars are literally just hanging out here. He was just walking by it like it's nothing. And he's like $100,000, $200,000 cars, which is insane to see. Got McLaren over here. 570S, carbon fiber right here. Insane. Gorgeous. And check out this car over here, y'all. Oof. Makes you kind of wonder, like, the type of wealth they have out there. There's so many crazy cars. Look at that car over here. That's insane. Acura ran to the homie Daniel Mac, saw his Porsche. So a lot of this stuff is possible. Crazy to think that um, people can afford these cars. And I guess a lot of these people are like business owners that come from just hard work or maybe it's passed down from generation to generation. But that is pretty cool to see for all of these cars. So we're gonna keep uh, waiting for the next uh, group of cars coming down. The show doesn't start till 1 p.m. It's only like 12, 30, 12, 40. All right, guys, next car looks like it's another GT3 RS. Lime green. Real cool, real cool. What's your favorite car, bro? Honestly, stock in SX that came through. Oh, really? Yeah. When did that come? Uh, Really see in a sec. We got like seven cars coming through. Appreciate you, man. Yo. Nine one six. 
Rider. Gorgeous, great car, man. Shout out YouTube, appreciate you guys. Another McLaren coming here. It's like the third one. Hey guys, crazy. Check it out guys, the Tesla Roadster. This is the first Roadster, aka the first car that Tesla ever made. The 2008 Tesla Roadster. These are kind of collectible now. I remember I wanted to buy one back in the day, but never pulled the trigger. Pretty cool. Tesla Roadster 2008. This is number 351 out of 500 Tesla Roadsters ever made. So as you can see, the charge port is over there. Let me walk you around the car. So here's the original Tesla Roadster, which is kind of crazy. To be quite frank, before I bought the Model 3, I almost bought one of these. As you can see, the charge port is right there and you can open and close it. It looks like it used to be, it is a convertible where the back kind of opens up. You have a trunk space, which is fascinating because usually most Teslas you have a frunk and then now you have a, you like a convertible look of the car. And essentially Elon and them almost made this kind of when they first created the car. As you can see here, front over here, there is no frunk for this Tesla. And we do have a uh, original kind of rims over here, which is interesting. Red hubcap, 
take a look at the car. So there's no front screen like most Teslas. It's actually a normal Tesla or normal car where you can just look into it, drive it normally. This is really fascinating. Tesla Roadster. Check this out guys, this is the hard top. It looks like you place on top of the car to cover it. It doesn't have like a convertible where it just goes inside to the car, but that's the hard top. The seats look like they're leather. And then you kind of have like a normal sh oh yeah it's automatic which is nice you don't have the full tech of the tesla where you can shift it drive reverse neutral no uh, big screen all red this is like the, the red before they had the ultra red pretty cool tesla rims look at these head the back lights guys one two three tesla spelled out like they used to actually have it in that model three highland which is fascinating Trunk space pretty big. Tesla motors here in the back. I guess the battery is right there because like it says danger high voltage. Pretty crazy. What else we got guys? This goes up. Looks like your fluids back there. And you have a glass back here, similar to like most convertibles. Interesting guys. This is 2008. Check out Monterey Touring Vehicles, your adventure ways. Appreciate you guys letting me look at the car. Another McLaren 720S Spider. Crazy. Guys, this is Daniel Max Porsche. Pretty interesting. Look at that wrap. Has Russell, Russell, Russell 23, Legends Rally Episode 3. What do you guys think of Daniel Max Porsche? I think it's pretty cool to be quite frank with y'all. But check it out, Daniel Max Porsche. All right, this is Daniel Max Porsche, guys. Really interesting. Pretty cool, man. I've never seen a GT4 wrap like this. Very dark tint. I guess no one can see if you're inside there. And then you have the uh, Russell, Russell shell. This is a sponsor, maybe. So interesting. But cool GT3R. Or sorry, GT4. Bugatti's. Look 
at this McLaren. Never seen this before. Okay. Oh, the extremes are. Right. Hey, let's go. Let's go down. Guys, we are here at Seaside for Car Week. Very excited to show you guys all the cool cars that we saw today. So, hope you all enjoy the video. This guy made Cody say. Pretty cool. He is super violent. All right, guys, check it out. Cornerstag supercar, crazy. And we just saw the CEO. This is crazy. And they like clean it as people are looking at it. Wild. Check it out, the Bugatti guy, he made Bugatti. 